Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we'll be checking out the Ring Stick-Up Cam, the battery-powered version. I did a review and some comparison videos of the wired version of the Stick-Up Cam a few weeks back, and I'll be including the video links in the description down below, if you want to check them out. The battery version also can be hooked up to a solar panel, so that the battery can be constantly topped off and you will not need to recharge or replace the battery whenever it runs out. Ring states that the battery can last up to 3 to 6 months depending on your usage. So let's check out some features. It is a 1080p HD camera with two-way talk. It has motion detection and uses a PIR sensor. It has a quick-release battery pack and is Wi-Fi connected. It has night vision, adjustable motion sensors, a 115-degree field of view, and works with Alexa. Let's open up the box. We have some paperwork. First, there is a quick install guide which says it only needs three steps to set up the camera. Then we have the user manual. More paperwork and a window decal. We have a little graphic on how you can easily set up the stick-up cam and install it in a table or shelf, in a wall, or in a ceiling. Then we have the installation tools. Inside, we have the combo Torx and Philips driver. We have the charging micro USB cable to charge the battery. We have the masonry drill bit. We have the battery cover screws. We have the mounting screws and plastic anchors, and also the security screw for the base cover. Then we have the battery pack. This is the same battery pack that they use for their Spotlight Cam battery and their Ring 2 doorbells. Lastly, we have the stick-up camera itself. I have the white version for the wired stick-up cam that I reviewed before. The camera itself looks exactly the same as the wired version. It is all plastic, but the build quality is pretty decent. It feels hollow just because the battery is not installed yet. It feels lighter right now, but I'm assuming it will be heavier than the wired one when the battery is installed. At the front, we have the 115 degree field of view lens, LED light, and the PIR sensor and the speakers. The camera is attached to a mounting arm which you can flip and turn depending on which installation setup you want to do. I can tell you that the mount and arm joint here is a bit stiff as compared to my other stick-up cam, and there is no adjustment to loosen or tighten it. The bottom part we can twist to loosen and open the battery compartment. We have a lock and unlock diagram here. We have the reset button and the screw hole for the battery cover screw. At the top back side of the camera is the area for the solar panel or for a wired adapter to trickle charge your battery. I'll be showing you later on on how to install the solar panel. Before I set up the camera, I will charge the battery which should take 5 to 8 hours to fully charge. When both LED lights turn green means it is fully charged. Let's pause the video here first and I'll tell you what happened. I was filming some B-roll of the camera and I was setting it up to show different installation setups that we can do. And when I was moving the mount arm, the base broke off. Remember, it was a bit tight as compared to my other stick-up cam. And there is no adjustment screw to loosen it that I can see. I was planning to set it up so I can show the ceiling install position and it broke off. The arm is aluminum and it connects to the plastic base with two screws, but the part that broke off is the aluminum piece. I don't think this is an issue with their mount design and material choices. I just got an off-spec part which was installed too tight. It is way too stiff and maybe I'm just too strong. I might need to stop working out. Anyways, the show must go on though. And because of this happening, I learned or we are going to learn something. You can actually unscrew the mount by unscrewing the ball joint and you will have a quarter 20 thread which means you can use a traditional outdoor mount as an alternative to install this stick-up cam in a wall or ceiling. 
which is what I will do so as to finish this review video. Now, to set up the camera, we will install the battery first. Download or open up the Ring app, click Setup Device, then choose Security Cams. Scan the QR code which you can find at the back of the battery cover or in the setup sheet that came with the camera. In Setup Mode, follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Choose where you're installing it. I'll choose Outdoors for now. I'll label it Backyard. Click Stick Up Cam is on if you already installed the battery. Wait for the flashing blue light then click Light is Flashing. Click Join. Choose the Wi-Fi network you want the camera to connect. Type in the password and wait until the setup is complete. Let the camera update when prompted. It will then prompt you to test your internet connection which is good so that you will know if you needed to boost your Wi-Fi signal in the location where you're going to place the camera. Then it will prompt you to set up your motion zones. And this is a different setup when compared to their other ring battery powered cameras. It just divides the PIR sensor in three different zones and you can only turn on or off that zone. The other cameras you can adjust the distance which is a hit or miss anyways. I'm hoping this is more accurate even it only has 3 zones. Then you can adjust the sensitivity of the motion sensor. You can choose how often the camera will send you notifications. I think this is the cool off setting for this camera and this is to save battery life. Now let's test it out. I can tell you that the field of view is different from the wired version and this is only 115 degrees. And you can see that there is some fisheye on the edges but not as noticeable as the wired version which is 150 degrees. I don't know why they decided to make this version field of view narrower. Video quality looks pretty good. Let's check out the settings menu. So click the gear icon on the upper right corner. You will see the battery life, record motion and motion alerts toggle switch and the live view button. We also have the event history. Device health which shows battery life, signal strength and other device information. We have link chimes if you also have the chime or the chime pro that you can add this camera for motion alerts. We have the motion snooze if you want the camera to pause motion notifications for up to 2 hours. Remember that the camera will still record any motion events. Then we have the motion settings which we set up earlier. With the motion zones, the camera's view will be superimposed so that you will know more or less which areas you need the sensor not to monitor. When you click continue, you will get the slider where you can adjust the sensitivity of the sensor. Then there is motion frequency, which I'll just choose standard for now. Then motion schedule if you want the camera not to send you any motion alert notifications in a given day and time. Then we have the app alert tones which you can assign an alert tone for the camera so that you will know if it got triggered even without looking at your phone. I actually like this feature of the ring and they frequently update this so that you can change it like this holiday season. For this setup, I'll just choose the voice prompt. Motion at your stick up cam. Let's go back to live view and on this timeline view, which I'm hoping most of you have been updated, you can speak or listen and clicking the full screen, you will get the traditional ring view with the two-way talk buttons, mute and the plus button to access the siren and the share your footage options. Now we will replace the battery cover and we can install the battery cover security screw. First we need to pop out this rubber cover and just screw in the torque screw using the included driver. Let's set this up inside the house first and we will see how the audio and video quality looks like. So this is the audio and video quality of the Ring Stick Up Cam, the battery version. This is the video quality. 
at night time with night vision on with the ring stick up cam, the battery version. Now we will test the motion notification speed and the cool off period, which by the way I set up the motion frequency to standard mode. Motion at your stick up cam. Motion at your stick up cam. Also, on battery powered ring cameras, it only records 30 second clips. This is not adjustable at this time. Now, time to set up this outside, and we will also be installing the solar panel. The solar panel that came with the camera is the same solar panel for the ring spotlight cam battery. So, to install that 13 foot solar cable barrel connector, we need to remove the rubber plug, then we will remove the rubber spacers so that the plug will be flushed and plugged in properly. You can either install it up or down depending on your setup. Time to install everything outside. I'll be using my Blink setup for this testing. If you haven't seen that video, I'll also link it in the description down below. Installation of the solar panel is pretty easy and is attached to the wall using two screws. Because of the broken mount, I'll be using the traditional outdoor mount which is good that Ring decided on a quarter 20 thread attachment on the camera, unlike their spotlight cameras which have proprietary mounts. Now we are going to test the motion zones. As I said before in my previous videos, battery powered cameras which includes this one only uses a PIR sensor as to detecting motion and it has a range of about 20 to 30 feet. As you can see in the ring zones, that is pretty close to the blue shading that they superimposed. Now, we will test the zoning, which this camera only has three zones. And I will turn off the side zones and see if it will only detect me if I'm in the middle zone. Okay. So I'm got the middle zone is uh, the only zone that's on. All the side zones right here are off and then that area is off so I'm gonna be on the right side of the cone here or on the left side when you're seeing it no alerts you didn't get notified so now I'm gonna go across between these two cones and it should give me a notification Motion at your stick up cam. All right, so it works, and also when it records, as you can see, it has the blue light on. The same thing as the wired version. So, this is the audio and video test of the stick up cam, the battery version. Actually partially true, the camera is in black and white mode but the infrared lights are off. The lights from my neighbors or just the ambient light outside didn't trigger the light sensor to turn on the infrared lights. Ring needs to fix this. This is also what happened to the wired stick up cam when I tested it. Alexa, show me the backyard stick up camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Then you're able to talk if you want to. Overall, even with a broken mount, which by the way a replacement mount is being processed and will be sent out by Ring, and I should receive it in about a week. This is actually a pretty good camera. I like the instant motion notification, pretty short cool off period, around a minute in my testing, and with a 115 degree field of view, it doesn't have a lot of fisheye effect as compared to the wired version. Ring needs to fix the infrared sensor sensitivity though. It seems like it will only turn on when it is totally dark, which is not always the case when you install this outside, and there are ambient lighting from your neighbor's houses. This is an easy fix though with a firmware update. I'll be doing comparison videos of this camera to the Stick Up Cam wired version with a Spotlight Cam battery, Blink XT, Arlo Pro 2, and the Reolink Argus 2 in my future videos. So that's a lot of videos that I need to do. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet to get product review videos like this video, comparison videos, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.